Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a powerful night when like-minded people such as ourselves are gathered here to make a difference. I invite you to understand the passion that lays behind me as a philanthropist chef that's making a difference around the world. I apologize for that I'm not able to attend this evening's event, but I'm reaching out to you with this pre-recording message to say thank you. On behalf of Feed It Forward, I just wanted to give my gratitude and from the rest of the world that we've been assisting with. Feed Afford is a federal non-for-profit in Canada that's been eliminating food waste and feeding millions of people with it. Through this empowerment, I've educated so many people on new ways how to deliver food instead of putting it into the landfills, but putting it back onto the tables of yourselves and for many others. Through my mission, I've been working presently in the Ukraine and throughout the world to make that difference by saying it's time to be socially responsible. I invite you all to understand the impact that Feed It Forward has. Through our mission in Canada and around the world, we've eliminated millions of pounds of food and also have put that back onto the tables of so many people, millions. You know, educating people that are now socially responsible has been my mission about eliminating that food waste. But the idea is, you know, the princess foods, the ugly fruits and vegetables need a second chance. And through our pay what you can free grocery stores and restaurant concepts that have been working successfully to feed these people, it's been my pleasure to further my mission. And through that, We've taken it around the world. By creating Feed It Forward's free food sharing app, it helps people now find food and give the purpose of giving food. Everyone has an option here in life and it's not my job to make you understand this, but to really just realize what I'm doing. You know, as the world comes to its uncertainties, as natural disasters happen and worn, torn countries are sitting there pleading for help, I couldn't stand on the sidelines. I couldn't stand watching it through the television. So in Ukraine, I started off with World Central Kitchen in Poland. So behind me, we have the backbone of the team from Poland. What we don't know and what you don't see is this creative unit back here who keeps the engine driven in their kitchen here at World Central Kitchen. Stay tuned as you get to see all these incredible people that make the difference.
So through today's completion here at World Central Kitchen at the border of Ukraine, a few thousand sandwiches, a few thousand meals are ready to go out for tonight's incredible offering. heroes of the volunteers of the Ukraine supporting their citizens and their military. You know, thank you for all Ukraine and help uh, our uh, friends who need our help. Yeah, thank you. You can help them too. We are on a God's journey of a mission to make a difference for the troops and for the victims. We are heading five hours into the east of Ukraine to a hot zone where we're going to provide food, provisions and pastries that we've created to give to them uh, and let alone some cigarettes, but we're making a difference to give what we can to help our the Ukraine. These men are my true heroes. And we created meals and watched the newly arrived women and children come across the border from the Ukraine to Poland and such to start a new life. Well, that wasn't enough for me. I really wanted to see where that last meal was going. So as I went into Ukraine, I got to see and witness and feel the true impact of war. If we build foundations back together, we have to start from the ground up again. That's what it's going to take for all of us to do this because this destruction is unnecessary. What I've seen and what I've felt can't be described. You know, through a few videos that I'll share, you'll be able to understand the impact that it's had on me and my passion behind how I want to create change and assist as many people as we can. But what we have started is a network and a logistics team that creates food in, you know, local kitchens and bakeries that create dynamic meals and give it to our teams and we ship them right into the trenches, as you would understand, right into the war zone where there are actually artillery and fire and weaponry, everything's going on around you. And it, the, the hardest part for me to explain this is when you wear a red cross, when you're around medics and when you're around people that are trying to help, you seem to be the biggest target. Not understanding the reasons for this war, except for that it has a toll on the civilians and the children and the families that are so displaced because of fires and bombs and such like this. With our support, through the love, through humanitarian aid, feed afford, we are here on the ground to make that difference, to support these families that need us. Food is definitely needed, and the only way it's going to take is for us to financially support that and to be here, boots on the ground, with all these great people that are helping. So through our mission and our life-threatening ways that are upon us, I don't even know that's the right word to say, but the fear of God's in you when you're trying to save, or trying to save someone's life, when you're trying to help someone's life. You know, an empty stomach's an empty mind and the the soldiers and the civilians that I've met in this worn, torn little towns and villages and such, many of these ch young children were holding weapons, Kalishnikovs, you know. Um, they were once holding cellos, they were once holding violins, keyboards, you know, in front of computers, 
but now they're ordered to defend their country, their village, their families, and their people. Wow. Imagine that. Imagine that happening to us in our own country, where you're told that the women and children can leave, but the men must stay back to protect it. Hmm. So having that said, I ran into a few young soldiers that we were feeding and I looked down to their feet and I asked them, why are you wearing flip flops or sandals and such? And they looked at me and saying, you tell us where we can go to a store and buy boots. In fact, they said, the only way I can get a pair of boots is off a dead soldier. Now that touched me, but that's another reason why we're here tonight. We're here to make a difference. And at least through Feed It Forward and all of us working together, we can support and feed a nation if possible. Feed all the people that within our reach to make that difference. Because man, I tell you, food saves lives. Hi everyone. I want to say thank you so much, Feed It Forward and Jagger Gordon for Support Ukraine. So yesterday I've been in hotspot in Kyiv, Kharkiv, Zhitomyr, Chernihiv. It's so dangerous, but we must help. We must support people who need it. And military, soldier, they need the food, they need the drones, they need a medicine, tactical medicine. So I want to say thank you for support. And Jagger, you must to tell Canadian people, everyone must support because it's so, so needed for us. Uh, you know, when I, when I come back, going back uh, to my town, Ternopil, I want to cry because I drive, I, I look, everything destroyed it and you know people people don't have houses don't have anything don't have clothes we we have a big job we have uh, more support many people needed help so help help us thank you with all these great nonprofits in Ukraine, we're able to collectively feed thousands and thousands of people. And hopefully throughout the duration of this uncertain time through this war, with your support, we can do this. It takes you and me to make this happen. Let's do it. So, on that note, it's our mission to continue on here. If you know me, I'm not that person that does a, just a one-off and just says, oh, look what I've done. It's what we're doing together. It's how we can empower each other to make that difference and to make it sustainable. What I've learned in my past through my Feet of Forward missions, I was a self-funding, or should I say, a social enterprise, and I am. I believe in myself and I invest in myself continuously. And that's the Feed It Forward program. But every boot and every step I take forward, 2,800 of our volunteers walk with me. And I invite you to be part of that team. Our team and our mission is to basically just help as many people as we can. And every single person that you come encounter with, you can educate them by utilizing our free food sharing app. You know, Feed It Forward's free food sharing app seems to be working you know when i went to central america to showcase you know all these blooming great trees of avocados and mangoes are you're able to share that rather than letting those beautiful fruits fall to the ground or sit on the tree until rotting allow people the opportunity to either utilize them for their own personal needs or to market them to make things sustainable in their lives Having that said, the free food sharing app also gives people the opportunity if they were to have a van, truckload, or farm full of vegetables and such that they're not going to be utilizing to share it with, to share it with their communities. 
If you're a home cook and you wanted to share a meal, knowing that you might be surrounded by a student that's hungry, you can showcase that little bowl of pasta that you have waiting for them. All they do is press, thank you, I'll take it, and it'll show you where and when it's available. But the most, one of the greatest parts I like about it, it has a carbon footprint calculator, which also showcases each and every person, town, city, country, who's doing and eliminating the most food waste. So every pound of food that's being transferred is actually calculated in, carbon, in their carbon footprint. So it's basically now become a game. It's, it's become a challenge, I should say. So I invite you to download the free food sharing app by Feed It Forward and share this message or just make a meal for someone. On that note, getting back to the seriousness that surrounds me continuously. Through Feed It Forward in Ukraine, we've been helping thousands of people weekly. You know, everyone, all our volunteers are putting their lives at risk. And unfortunately we have lost and we have seen enough death, but it won't stop. We've taken it one step further. Now that we know that the ones that are able to leave Ukraine and come into different countries, in Canada, we've received three great full planes full of, of newly arrived women and children. Feet of Ford's mission in Toronto, Ontario, and hopefully to expand based on funding. We're supporting these women and children, giving them the opportunity to have a new life, a new beginning with housing, food, and everything else that could be offered to them for a fresh start. Those children need a brand, without their fathers, without their grandfathers, without the men to be, uh, you know, um, the light the masculinity that might be needed for them for their growth. We want to support that. We want to embrace that and give them at least the opportunities to have the options to succeed further. So tonight is one of those nights. Through your support, we're making that difference. We're literally going to be supporting families with all the food that they need. If it being one month, two months, three months, whatever it takes to get them off their feet. So I invite you to go to feedafford.ca, make a monetary donation if you can. I started a GoFundMe where we need some equipment and such and things that we need to survive and also to provide is the way to look at it in Ukraine. We can all work together here. In Ukraine, it takes all of us to work together and we need to support. People are asking me why I'm all geared up technical equipment to save my life, but I've come a long way to help others, but I need to get back alive and this is to protect my life as well as to protect others. Thank you, and I really appreciate the empowerment of all these great women and people at this at this mission with Feed Afford. I'm Chef Jared Gordon, and I want to give the highest gratitude to you all of you, because without you, there's no me. Possibilities are endless, but we can all work together. Good night. Slava Ukraine! Heroes, slava!